All right, so basically, you guys, um, you guys remember this situation that went down with M. Dot EBK. He got shot in his leg. A whole situation went down. I said that already, but you know, he basically he lost his life. You know, to some type of drive-by shooting. People hopped out the car. They tried to speed away, try to get away, but they hit a median. Flipped the whip. Then that's when they found the um the gun in the car, and they arrested two individuals. You feel me? So this is basically what I want to do. I want to update you guys on the fact that they up that they arrested. You know what I'm saying? Apprehended. We could say two individuals that you know have something to do with M dots. Death. So I'm gonna play this real quick. Deadly shootings from early yesterday morning in Inwood. Police have identified 30-year-old Angel Cruzetta as Cruzetta as the victim of the shooting on Vermilia Avenue. They're still looking for the gunman. And in the Bronx, two arrests in the deadly shooting of an 18-year-old in Tremont. Ariel Velasquez and Ramon Santos are facing several charges, including murder and attempted murder. The 19-year-old uh, was shot, but is expected to survive. This happened just before 2:30 yesterday morning on Morris Avenue near 183rd Street. 24 hours later, NYPD announced their arrest of two men, one in a hospital gown, the other still visibly battling his injuries. 19-year-old Ariel Velasquez of the Bronx is facing several charges, including murder, attempted murder, manslaughter, and criminal weapons charges. Same exact charges for 28-year-old Ramon Santos of Brooklyn in connection with the deadly ambush shooting. Mayor 24 hours later, NYPD announced their arrest of two men, one in a hospital gown, the other still visibly battling his injuries. 19-year-old Ariel Velasquez of the Bronx is facing several charges, including murder, attempted murder, manslaughter, and criminal weapons charges. Same exact charges for 28-year-old Ramon Santos of Brooklyn in connection with the deadly ambush shooting. Mayor 24 Well, there you have it, people. There you have it. They got him. They got him. They got the guys that has something to do with, you know, the shooting. And I think it's, you know, it's unfortunate. Have one person that lost their lives. You have two people that's about to lose their lose they lives. It's just, you know, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Let's see what they got to say inside the comment section real quick. They ain't let bro put his clothes on. Let's look up here first. Hold on. Did that guy scratch the V tell by bro face? Big boy, you started. Uh, everybody laughing, but the mission was successful. These people in the comment section be bugging sometimes. I ain't going to even hold you, bro. Niggas being seen as constant on cameras. They ain't let bro put his clothes on. I read that already. They threw his whole life away because they were angry. That's in one minute. Those are against. Look, ain't that, the, ain't that the story? Ain't that the story with everybody? This coach is weird. You folks listen to these people talk about that. I just but and then when somebody kills them or something now is on G and make up your minds, please, because this is what happens when the streets. I mean, yeah, granted. I mean, but who, who? I mean, but if you do get desensitized to someone dying, doesn't that make you like kind of like the weirdo at that point? Like, yeah, granted, they talk about it in the standard third, but it's like, am I, am I not to be surprised if somebody gets killed? What, I should just be like, hey, it is what it is? I don't know. I don't know. He probably looks at human life a different way than others do. That's probably what that is, you know? He probably looks at human life as dispensable, and it's like, hey, yeah, a kid be talking about booming his ops and whatever have you, so... Why will we sit here and like, you know, feel bad for him? And I and you know, some people's looking at it like, hey, it's still a life loss at the end of the day. So everyone has like, you know, a different way of looking at things. That's why I like reading the comment section. That's why I like doing that. Let's hear this one more time before we get out of here. 
Shootings from early yesterday morning in Inwood, police have identified 30-year-old Angel Cruzetta as, Cruzetta as the victim of the shooting on Vermilia Avenue. They're still looking for the gunman. And in the Bronx, two arrests in the deadly shooting of an 18-year-old in Tremont. Ariel Velasquez and Ramon Santos are facing several charges, including murder and attempted murder. They had Mayor Eric Adams out uh, there. ...was shot but is expected to survive. This happened just before 2.30 yesterday morning on Morris Avenue near near 183rd Street. Well, there you have it, people. Well, there you have it. A very unfortunate situation. You know, but I guess you can say this is not a cold case. I guess you can say to um, family members, loved ones, everyone like that, can... um. Say that he could rest in peace now with them finding justice. If that's something that, you know, people still care about, you know, in today's time. But justice was served. Nonetheless. Right? If I'm wrong, pull up in the comment section, let me know. But we're moving on to the next subject. Moving on.